today we'll be discussing about uh, the two types of prospectors uh, some of the students have asked me regarding what is uh, red herring prospectors and what is uh, shell prospectors uh, what is actually red herring prospectors see uh, this type of prospectors is basically issued prior to a simple prospectors now we know that when a company is uh, uh, trying to make a public offer when a company is uh, issuing securities before the public it has to it has to issue a prospectus which shall be registered before the roc and the security exchange board of india that is for the stock market now what is the relevance of this red herring prospectus apart from which you are having a prospectus also now this red herring prospectus is a prospectus which is issued prior before any simple prospectus and this prospectus is basically meant for the purpose of attracting various shareholders now in this type of prospectus two things are not mentioned try to understand from the perspective of red herring prospectus two things are not mentioned if some difference comes in your examination then what is the difference between red herring prospectus and any other type of prospectus the difference lies in the fact is number one is there is no quantum of shares there is no quantum of shares and number two is there is no price fixed for at the time of issuance of shares generally what happens when a company makes a public issue it fixes a it fixes a issuing price and when the shares are getting deposited in the stock market obviously the share price gets increase or decrease as per the market sentiment now in this case in this red herring prospectus there is no such cases two things are not mentioned what amount of shares is being issued by the company and the number two what is the price of the share so the price of the share is totally left in the hands of the stock market now if x company is issuing red prospect uh, is issuing red herring prospectus it means that the company the company has not fixed what amount of capital the company requires take an example if x requires 1 crore uh, you can you can say if x company requires 1 crore uh, <coughs> what capital how can it accumulate by means of issuing shares or by means of debentures but in this case there is no quantum of shares fixed because to raise 1 crore a company can issue at least 10 lakh shares amounting to uh, suppose 100 rupees each for arising that 1 crore इसका मतलब क्या है एक करोड़ पैसा फिक्स करने एक कंपनी को शेयर इशू करने का आगे उसको फिक्स करने उसको कितना पैसा चाहिए तो अंटिल अनलेस द कंपनी कैन फिक्स इट्स कैपिटल इट कैनॉट इट कैनॉट इशू शेयर्स और इशू डिवेंचर्स सो इन दिस रेड हेडिंग प्रोस्पेक्टर्स देर इज नो सच केस द कैपिटल इज नॉट फिक्स बाय द कंपनी हाउ मच द कंपनी रिक्वेस्ट बट बाय एन एप्सर्ड अमाउंट द कंपनी इशू इशूंग शेयर टू द पब्लिक and by means of book building process there is a process called book building process which is in uh, um, uh, which is engaged in stock market the public basically invest money as per a floor price now take an example the company shares has been fixed at this rate 120 130 140 150 160 there are five rate now suppose the more application the more to a rate the more application the more to a rate suppose at the rate of 150 there were 5 lakhs application for investment at the rate of 140 there was 6 lakh investment at the rate of 120 there was 9 lakh investment so by this the company gets to know how much per share the rate will be fixed suppose the more the application received by the uh, company as per the investment by the investor the share price is fixed now 120 i have said 9 lakhs application came at the rate of 120 so 120 is the price where maximum investors are trying to fix that price so that is a closing price so 120 will be fixed for per share so in redeeming prospectus the price is not fixed so the price is determined by means of a book building process it is a process of price discovery mechanism try to get it price discovery mechanism so red herring prospectus is issued by the 
is issued by the companies in order to attract the customers where quantum of shares and the price is not fixed but it is determined by means of a book building process price uska fix nahi hai but price ko determine karna hai kaise it is issuing shares absurdly and the price is fixed by the publics by means of applications the more application received at a four price पांच छह फोर प्राइस हो सकता है एक सौ बीस एक सौ तीस एक सौ चालीस एक सौ पचास उसमें जितना एप्लीकेशन आएगा जिसमें ज्यादा आएगा वही प्राइस हो जाएगा दैट इज रेड रेडिंग प्रोस्पेक्ट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन इज कमिंग इन द एग्जामिनेशन थैंक यू